Here with junior quarterback Cedric Anderson, the Demons coming off a 35-27 win against Lamar in the Southland Oper on Saturday night, or Saturday afternoon rather. Uh, Cedric, you guys, uh, after the game, Isaiah Longino was talking about accountability. Uh, you guys had a tough first three weeks, kind of starting to hold each other accountable. Where has that come from, and, and how do you guys react uh, to keeping each other accountable? This team, I feel like we're more like brothers than a team. And you know when brothers get after each other, it's going to be a little back and forth at first. Then you'll settle down and think, oh, he was right. I, I, need, to pick my, I, I need to pick my stuff up. So that's where that comes from. That comes and through the first three weeks, we didn't hold each other accountable enough. And we realized that and we turned it around, basically. You guys uh, kind of mentioned, Coach Laird talked about it a little bit. You know, we talked about it just a minute ago. Uh, iron sharpens iron. You guys, uh, whether it's against the receivers or in that room, it's, it's you and Shamar and Hoop. You've been together for four years. Uh, I, I know that's, and I know with Coach Lockett in there too, there's a little bit stirring it up in there. But uh, you guys uh, have such a, a friendly, competitive bond, don't you? Yeah. We're real life brothers. Like, is. We've been here so long. We see each other all day, every day. It, it, we had no choice but to be, but to become close. And with us being so close, and all us being athletically inclined, everything will be a competition. Who's gonna get a pick this game? Oh, I got one this game. I'm gonna get a pick six this game. So now it's basically like it's like we're playing tag. So it's whoever up next. So hoops two PBUs early led to your interception. Basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, and I know you know with Shamar being out, is there something that you know? Is it like having another coach over there when you come off the field? Yes, it's just like having another coach, but with a younger perspective. Mm -hmm. So he can take whatever Coach Locke is saying, and he can kind of sit there, decipher it, then relate a message to us. You, uh, we talked about uh, Javon Antonio, the performance he had Saturday night with Coach Laird. Uh, you saw him enough from the scout team last year, I'm sure. You've yeah. seen him enough in, in drills. Again, iron sharpening iron. How much do you learn just going against Javon in practice and vice versa? We, 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 it's like we really learn a lot from each other because we can all bring different things to the table. We're not just going to sit there and do the same thing every time and expect a different result. So with Vaughn, he's a bigger dude. He's going to give you this one time, then give you something else the, the, uh, next time. And me, I'm a longer dude. I might fake you this time and hit you this time. You know what I'm saying? So we just mix it up with each other and make each other better and keep each other on our toes. You two go out on the basketball court at all? I mean, oh, that's all, an interesting. All the time. Oh, all the time. We pray through, line it up. <laughs> Who's the better basketball player? It depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll depend on the day. We'll look ahead towards Saturday. Uh, Nichols, I know it kind of holds a special place in your heart for a couple of reasons. Your first career pick was down there a couple of years ago. It's close to home. I know you know a lot of those guys. It's a rivalry. And what do rivalry games mean to you guys? A rivalry game means a lot. It may not look like it, but we feel every we feel the rivalry game more than for any other game because it's it's we plan for more than just that game. It's a it's a it's a bigger picture behind it. Mm -hmm. So we take all that into 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 account. Yeah, we, we take all that into account and put it out and put it on the field. That said, what's the message this week? FEA. I can't I, I can't tell you what it means, but if you know, you know FEA. And to go one to know. One to know. All right. Cedric, thanks so much. All right.